Hi, this is Bill Widener, Director of the Electrical Program at Grayson College. Today we're going to be working on the Del Mar Online Training Simulation, the Residential Wiring Module. After you log in, if you'll find the tab, it's a wiring a home tab, we'll be working on the lighting branch circuit to the bathroom and the hallway. If you'll left click on that, it brings us into a main dashboard. If you'll left click on that, that will load our simulation today. We'll be working in Chapter 10 of your residential book. This is going to be the branch circuit uh, for the lighting in the master bath and the hall bath. As we come in, we have a 3D drawing showing the circuits we're working on today. This is the three-way switch in the hall. There's another one around the corner. This is your outlet, your light fixture. We have a light in the hall bath. And then also the master bedroom has a light fixture in it. So we'll take a look now at the circuit diagram. You notice we have the lights in yellow. These will be on our project today. We have an outlet in the hall. We have this switch, this switch in the hall bath. And you notice we'll be dealing with A14 today as our lighting. If you come into the main drawing, we'll be working in the northeast side of the drawing itself. This is the front bedroom and the master and the bath and the hallway is located in this area, along with the hallway and the master bath. So as we come into the main 3D simulation, we'll click on the electrical panel. Brings up the circuit diagram. We'll be working on circuit A14 today, which is a 15 amp circuit. It is an AFCI circuit because of the hall lighting and the outlet. Bathrooms do not require an AFC. So to get started today, we notice that our home run is coming to box A. So we will populate our wires now for the project. So coming to box D, which is our receptacle, we'll need a two wire Romex. We'll also need a two wire Romex going to the master bath. To the light fixture, we'll need a two wire. In the hall bath, we'll need a two wire going to the light fixture. We'll need a two wire going to the switch also. Now coming in to the hallway, we have two three-way switches. In this case, our main power is coming in to the light fixture, so We'll need to wire to the first switch with a two-wire Romex, but we're going to have to use the white as a hot, so we're going to re-identify the hot. Going to the other switch, on this cable, we'll need a three-wire cable. Once again, we'll have to re-identify the white as a hot. Okay, that will put all of our wire in we need. So now we're ready to do the actual wire. So we'll start at box A. So at box A, we will start with our neutrals. Our ground's already made up. That's the first thing I do when I'm wiring in a home. We'll make up our hots from the panel and going through to the other receptacle. Now remember, we re-identified our white as a hot wire. So we're going to also put that underneath the hot in box A. Now we'll need to put a pigtail to the light fixture for the neutral. And our hot coming from our three-way will go to the light fixture. Now we'll move to box B. As we talked about before, the hot will be going down to switch C. On a three-way circuit, one switch needs to be the switch leg going to the device. The other switch will be the hot coming from the panel. In this case, box C will be our hot from the panel and box B will house our switch for the switch leg. So we'll start in box B. We'll hook up our hots. Remember we identified those with black tape. We will install our switch leg to our common terminal. We'll have our travelers go into our switch. Now when we move down to box C, remember we re-identified our hot with black tape. It goes to our common. Then we'll add our travelers to each terminal. This will complete box B and C. And you notice that since this side 
of the circuit is directly wired from the panel the light fixtures are on and we can turn the switches off and on and check our circuit now we will move to box D which is our outlet in the hallway this outlet will be a feed through going to the master bath so we will hook up the wires for the neutral we we'll also need to hook up our hot to the receptacle bring our main power in and we need to feed through to the other bathroom and that will complete box D now we'll move up to the master this is a switch we'll tie our neutrals together we'll have our switch leg on one side of the switch and our hot coming from our panel moving to the light fixture we'll put our neutral on our silver color and our hot always goes to our brass on our light now we'll move down to box E we need to make our neutrals up we'll have our hot coming in to the switch and then we'll have our switch leg on that side then we'll move to box F we'll hook up our silver and our switch leg okay that completes our circuit we can double check by turning our light switches on So now we finished our simulation. Now we'll be able to go back and in the main screen, it gives us an opportunity to look at our feedback report. So if you push your report, you notice it shows all my terminations in green, shows a copy of our project and what we did and everything is wired correctly. Well, thank you for spending time with me today. Uh, I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good day.